hello and welcome to Lake. Now, from what I can tell, this is a narrative-driven adventure game where you play as Meredith, who takes a break from her big city life to uh, visit her hometown and get a taste of that small town living. You know I love story-driven games, and I just liked the look of this. I like the trailer. That's what pulled me into it. But I don't know exactly what the gameplay is going to be like, and I have no idea how long the game is going to be. But we are going to find out together, because when I finish one series, I gotta start another new game. Wow, that load time was real. You're not gonna see it, but boy, I did. <laughs> it's funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Why does this look like this? It's weird. The interface she's typing on. Oh, it's the 80s. Hello? Hello? Oh, voice acting, didn't know. You up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh. Oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, wait, Roy. What is uh, going on here? Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. That After this, I'm, I'm going to change something. Sure. Yeah, Steve, what, what, is, what is the deal with you? You sound like a junkie. Uh, well, we'll see. Providence Oaks, Oregon, yeah, September Mr. 1. Oh, shit. Mr. Coleman, please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Okay, I need to change this. Oh, but I can't get in the freaking menu. Shit. <laughs> okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? Sweet, sounds great. Show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the problem. It gave me this option, pause after dialogue lines, and I was thinking that that meant text dialogue, and I like to be able to advance text dialogue because I'm reading, and I want to be able to read it at the speed, you know, that's appropriate for me. I didn't realize it applied to their voice acting and that it was going to literally pause the entire game, <laughs> you know, like after each one of their lines. It's terrible. It's like breaking up the music and everything. So this is going to go off now and back to the game. Lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired. See how much better that is? <laughs> and there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. All right, I could do that. Let's get on out, Mary. I oh, and I could go a little bit faster. This mailbox. Can look around while I do it. Sweet. Anything else happening? I'm not going to go too far because then I'll waste a bunch of time. Come on, Meredith. Learn how to run. All right. I know you're taking a vacay, but that doesn't mean you need to be slow. Difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. I got it. I got it. You're tutorializing me. Also, I was going to go to MIT. You know, fun fact nobody cares about. I chose not to, though. 
But I was gonna go for aerospace engineering. La 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 la! Select parcel! Let's take it. I'm guessing this is the place. Da 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 ba da! Nice house! Wondering what you guys are ordering. Hello? I have a package for you. Right. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Hope nobody comes and steals this. If they do, it's the 80s, so nobody's going to see it happen on camera. <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Yes. Uh, well, and invest in all the stocks. Use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Sir, why do you have a blue streak in your hair? Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, oh good for you. Out. What time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, yeah. See you tomorrow. Adios. God, I tell you, one thing I don't miss <laughs> were like early morning jobs. I'm talking about, you know, I've had jobs where I had to be there at three o'clock in the morning. It is not fun. Oh, look at my little house. Can I like interact with things or is this just going to be a very linear story? Can I push the swing? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Woo. Cool. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Yay. The Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Oh, great. I hate blueberry pie. Thanks, Mom. You'd know that if you ever paid attention to my needs. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Steve, you're weird. Leave me alone. See you later. I miss answering machines. It was like opening an audio present every time you push the button. Tuesday, September 2nd. Morning. morning. Ready for your first day? Oh, I actually get to choose things. Good morning, Frank. I'm ready to run. No, you know what? She's going to be like me. I guess. Good morning. Oh, yeah, I guess. Good morning. I'm not a morning person at all, at all. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Thanks. I'll probably need that. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. I like how they had like a jacket for me and everything that has my name on it. That's cool. I want to go in there though. Can I just go in here? Hi, what you doing in here? Oh, I can't even talk to you. I can't even interact. What the hell? This better be a short. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh, he scared the shit out of me. I, this better be a short game if it's going to be this linear. Let's go, Mary Dith. I do like having the mini map though. All right, where do I need to go? 102 Lake Road, 103 Hare Street? Oh, Main Street. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. Could you deliver a better frame rate? Shit. Oh, sorry, car. All right, you have to wait for the mail. The mail is more important than wherever you're trying to go. You look like you're about to go on a family vacation of some sort. Isn't that the same type of car that the Griswolds had? The Griswold family? Hi. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I arrived here and then left for college 22 years ago. Nobody needs you to be that specific. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. It's only temporary. I don't know what you're about to say. She's going to be like, I know what it's like, too. Leaving a town, looking for a dream. Went to the big city, ended up in a whorehouse, killed some men. Actually, this is only temporary. <laughs> That's what I said, too. A long time ago. Oh, God. Here we go. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. 
Well, that was ominous. Oh, now I can just talk to people. Can I talk to this guy? Hello, sir. I appreciate your mullet and mustache. Sir, I'm trying to get in front of you so I can look at it. Sir, I swear to God, if you leave before I get to... Le yeah, look at you. You look pretty cool, sir. All right, goodbye. Photography mini lab. Photos developed in just one day. Cool. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, folks. Oh, wow. Wow. I... Oh, yikes. Sorry. Sorry. I'll, I'll just get this out of your way. All right. Next. I have a lot of respect for postal workers, though. I do. I love walking, but I hate winter. You know, and, and uh, I don't mind having to walk through a blizzard to get to my job. I don't want to walk through a blizzard as my job, you know? <laughs> Uh, deliver the mail. This is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Yeah, people do that, especially if you haven't been around for 22 years. Also, why does it sound ominous, Sugarman place? Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, all right. Thank you. So it's quaint so far, you know. This was in the menu screen. Should I come over here and visit it? Actually enjoying this. I am too. We're on the same page. All right, where are we going? Boy, I don't know why this game's uh, <laughs> frame rate is as bad as it is. I mean, you know, indie games, right? Not always as polished as they could be. Not always as optimized as they could be. But still. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Let's take a look at it. Oh God, but let's not crash while I do. Yeah. And is that the titular lake? It's very pretty. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen a lake. But yeah, I love nature, you know? Uh, but you don't really get to see a lot of it. Well, at least in the city, obviously, when I go out to the burbs and everything, I get to see more. This is a nice town. Very quiet. Absolutely no one is outside their houses. Oh, I'm at 200 Lake Road, which is a parcel. Hello, kitty. Oh my God, why are there so many fucking cats? One is enough, <laughs> you know, for me. Ah, shit. If I'd known it was that far, I wouldn't have left my truck all the way back there, but that's okay. That's what editing is for. All right, teddy bear. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, that's cute. I love that you can actually see the parcel in my hand. That's adorable. All right, let's deliver it. Cats, don't you touch this bear. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This that is cat's Meredith on something. Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years? I was about, <laughs> I was about to say 22 years to be exact. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to allow you to keep specifying, Meredith. It's dumb. It's Meredith. I wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, Pardon me then. Yeah, I will pardon you, you bitch. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats, of course? Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? I'm more concerned so about the fact that your mouth doesn't move so every time you talk. More of them than I used to. Like Genevieve here and Thomas and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. Ew! I wasn't feeling it up. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Maybe your son's dead, and those are gifts that he sent before he died. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. 
That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Wow, that was a judgy, reactionary old lady, but you know what? She's not long for this world, so I'll give her a free pass. Next house, let's go. I wonder if there are places I can just drive. Oh. I won't even need that map. Oh no, I'll still need it because I'm not going to pay attention. I was going to say, I wonder if, um, you know, there are places I can just stop at to have interactions. Like this place. Da da da, this is 300 Lake Road. Oh, Give me. It's heavier than I thought. Oh, is it? And yet it's very squinched. So it's probably tools. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. The only one? And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. Mm -hmm. There is no one better in P.O. than me. Well, you kind of made it sound like there's no one other than you in P.O. period, so... I you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives a local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. Right. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. All right, thanks, girl. Okay, thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Can I head on in here? No. What does it say? Ribs light? Oh, pills light. It's like a pilsner. Listen to me sounding like I know things about drinks. I don't drink the alcohol. I don't know if I'm going where I'm supposed to be going. Where was Bear Creek again? Ah, let's go in here. This looks pretty and also like there's a marker. But yeah, I want to know if I can just kind of go off the beaten path, you know? Oh boy. Oh right, Bear Creek near the old lumberyard. Well, there's something up here. I'm delivering mail. There's a new face. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'll be delivering the mail. Likewise, I'm Meredith, and here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Okay. That seemed like a bit of unresolved, unnecessary drama. But that's okay. Everybody's got drama in their life. You know, one thing I did like that it said... Uh, and this is going to contradict something I think I said a very long time ago, but it's not quite the same situation, so it's not actually a contradiction in my brain. But in the menu, are you coming out, dear? Yeah, okay. But yeah, there's a message that says, you know, if you play the music and you get a copyright claim, just, you know, send them a link to your video and they'll have it whitelisted, which I think is nice. And I prefer that to the thing I complained about before, which is, you know, giving people the ability to turn the music off entirely. Because yes, that's good. That's a good thing you can do, but that's an ability you already have if there's a music slider. Why did this house pop up? Is this gonna be, oh, it's cause it's my house. <laughs> wow, I circled all the way back. All right, coming up on the next stop. Is it you? And there's Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Yeah, can you read? Do, 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 do. Nice. Perfect. Was this the one that had the parcel? 500 Lake Road? Indeed it was. What 
on earth do these folks order? Probably food? Cooking supplies? Who knows? Diners are so cute, but I swear I've never been to one where the food was good. <laughs> Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few oh lines, me, oh my. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Let's match her intensity with more intensity. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Ow, oh, don't be like that now. Ow! Well, <laughs> Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. <laughs> Come here. Tell oh, me Maureen. Everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. Well, so I imagine if it's being spread by birds, they can fly. I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks, two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You do you not. One almost every afternoon after school at one point. I did not. I hate blueberry pie. That shit is disgusting. But you know what? Oh, you know me Fine. too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley! I'm not gonna be somebody who's like, actually, I try to eat healthy these days. Like, eating a slice of apple pie is not gonna fucking kill you. Unless you're allergic to blueberries. I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Uh, oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should go look because there's like smoke coming out of there. M maybe you should check that out. Honestly, first the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. All right. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a plow outside that sounds like it's plowing, even though there's no snow on the ground. Return to the post office. Why? Did I finish? Boy, I tell you, that's a light day if that's all the mail I had to deliver. <laughs> oh, you can fast travel? Wait, did I just see something come up that said fast travel? Oh, I did. Wait. Oh, and I'm over here. I see. Well, let's just place a waypoint. I just want to see the mechanic. I want to see if it gives me lines or... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, and then what's the point of that? Because I can already see the marker on the map if the waypoint is not actually going to point the way. And why do I have it? This is a nice kind of game for, you know, streaming. I always say that. I always say that as if I'm going to be streaming anytime soon. I assure you I will not be. The whole reason that it's easier for me to do videos is that if I know that, okay, I have an hour, right? Like, or even 30 minutes where I could just record an episode of something. I don't have to worry about doing anything extra or interacting with people. I could just very quickly, I just record it and then it's saved. And I know for some people, like if you have a whole streaming setup, streaming is easier because you don't have to worry about editing or whatever, you can just sit there. My problem is that if something came up like right now, I could just stop recording and that's it. You know, but if I were streaming and something came up, I'd have to be like, oh, guys, I'm sorry, I gotta go. You know, and it's just, it's weird. Weiss Residence, Tuesday evening. But we finished one day. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. Talk soon. Is there something I should know about dad? The way that she said, oh, he's ordering another margarita. It's like, is dad a lush? All right, we're going to watch TV. Not that I don't like reading books, but 
You know, I want to see some media. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> I like my laughter fresh, not canned, or frozen, you know, kind of like, ha ha! Anyway, hmm, is this the next day? Is that what it said? Shall I go in and talk to Monsieur Postal? <laughs> uh, hi, did you go home at all? Getting the hang of it yet? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie. Blueberry pie? I feel like you guys have a fetish, and I don't want to know about it. Uh-oh, I'm not moving. Oh, there we go. Boy, this game's kind of jank. Do I want to do... We'll do one more day, and then I'll get the F out of here. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet B. What's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Oh my god, what is it with the pie? Mm -hmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But oh god. the first. Jeez. Um, I don't know which place this is, but there's only one parcel for Main Street. I'm gonna assume it's for this. The Flick Shack. Even though you wear... Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, All right. Thank you, then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie. Eastman. Oh, I thought it was Harry Potter, because that's what you look like, a female Harry Potter. Um, well, I used to live here. Then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, how's business? It's, uh, it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Movies are great. not much else to do around here. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. True Nothing that. quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. Hmm. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice. <laughs> ah, it is my kind of humor. <laughs> my kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. And you're not going to. Are you trying to flirt with me? Get out of my face, bitch. Angie. All right. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of I don't know why. The Postman Always Rings Twice is a very good okay. film. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Okay, all right. Keep it in your pants. Oh! And now she's gone. Let's see how many of these covers I can recognize. Also, I'm stuck. That's The Godfather. Star Wars. But which episode is that? Uh, Superman. What the hell is that supposed to be? The B? I don't recognize that. I don't recognize the keyhole. Back to the Future. Ghostbusters. LGM. What is that supposed to be? Let me know if you recognize any of these that I did not mention. Oh, wait. That's Terminator up there. And Scarface over there. Um, I, I think that's the Rocky Horror Picture Show, maybe, with the lips. Oh, that says the Kung Fu Kid. Oh, is that supposed to be for the Karate Kid? I don't remember what that poster looked like. And then Gremlins. 
Uh-huh. Cool. Well, the posters are easier to see. Back to the present. Gremlins. Half price, great. Yeah. Okay, none of this matters, but you know what? I think um, I've had enough delivery. The maze. Is that uh, Labyrinth? These? I know what that one is on the top left. Yeah, guys, call out the ones that you know. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here. You know, I like my episodes to just be like between 30 minutes to an hour because that just feels right. Hopefully it saves. I don't know what the save system is like. But yeah, I'm going to assume that this is a very short game because it's so linear. So, you know, we may only have a couple of episodes of this, but it's cute. It's not um, starting any fires anywhere, you know, certainly not in anyone's loins. It's adorable. It's quaint. It's one of these slice of life games and you're either into that kind of thing or you're not. I'm okay with it, especially if it doesn't drag on. And if you're okay with things as long as they don't drag on, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back very soon with another episode of Lake.